to recap what we mentioned before this point, we talked about graded potentials, and here we're drilling down at the different types of graded potentials. So we described EPSPs, and we said that those were excitatory membrane potential changes that were brought about when either a sodium or a calcium channel opens up, which allows positive charge to enter the neuron, and that becomes an excitatory or positive change. Now, we also said that another way to bring about an EPSP is if you close negative channels or a potassium channel, because potassium wants to leave the cell. If you close a potassium channel or a chloride channel, then that's another way to bring about an EPSP. So depending on the type of channel and depending on whether it's opened or closed will determine an excitatory membrane potential change versus an inhibitory membrane potential change. So let's look at what an IPSP, uh, how that would actually be transmitted in terms of a signal. So for an IPSP, we end up having a larger frequency of action potentials arriving on our presynaptic neuron. Because of this, we're gonna see more neurotransmitter release. We talked about this idea of frequency coding the way that the nervous system sends a signal or, or um, sort of grades a larger signal is by releasing a faster rate of action potentials, and that results in more neurotransmitter release. Now that neurotransmitter can cross the junction and bind to certain receptors, and that will bring about the response on the adjacent cell. We talked about two types of responses, a fast response, which is an ionotropic receptor, and that's because the receptor is also a channel, right? Let me actually go back here where we describe this. All right, so here's an ionotropic receptor. Notice the receptor, right? This is where that neurotransmitter is going to bind, is also a channel. So when that ligand binds, automatically we open up the channel, Ions start flowing, sodium and potassium. And we said that because of the gradient for sodium being a stronger rush, this ionotropic receptor results in a depolarizing event, right? More sodium gets in, then potassium leaves. And so that results in an EPSP or an excitatory or positive membrane potential change, right? So this is an example of a fast receptor. A slow receptor on the other end, we looked at two examples. These are both called metabotropic receptor and they are coupled to a G protein. So here's our G protein. We said that one of the subunits, the alpha subunit moves off, activates an amplifier enzyme and that results in second messenger. And then we have a cellular specific response. So the response will look different depending on exactly what type of cell. But the main difference here is that this is a slow response because the receptor is different from the channel. The receptor is the first step in the chain, and then we have many more steps in between before we can open up a channel. Okay. In the second example of metabotropic receptors, this had less steps in the way in terms of no second messenger, but the receptor is still different from the channel. So when the neurotransmitter binds, the G protein has the alpha subunit that moves off and that directly is coupled to a channel and then we can have ionic movement and then we can see a cellular response. In both of these mechanisms, uh, there is a slower response because there are steps involved and the receptor are, and the channel are different. All right, so just to recap some of what we said in terms of the types of receptors and how they respond. So that neurotransmitter would bind to its receptor. That would result in an increase or decrease, depending on the specific response on the cell, of ion movement. And then that would result in a hyperpolarization. Okay. Now we say that this can be greater or lesser because either direction, and we're going to recap this here in just a minute, but either uh, closing of a sodium channel or opening 
of a chloride or potassium channel can result in an IPSP, right? There are different movements of ions that can result in IPSPs. So let's actually recap that and review that here. 